Jim and Jose and Anaya. Yay! Um, they have done a ton of work to, to make today a reality, um, and so have you all. Um, so, so many people came together from the community to help with funding and to help volunteering on the home um, to really make this day a reality, and it's really exciting, and we're so glad that you all are here to share it with us. Um, so I'm going to turn things over to Mary LeJudis, who's the secretary of our board of directors. Good morning. Good morning. I am going to provide, and I'm going to look at a lot of notes because I have uh, some information and statistics that outline how important the work that we do is. Um, Habitat is an international organization that seeks to provide strength, stability, and self-reliance through shelter. So that is the key of what we do with shelter. And to date, Habitat has, def has directly, and this is Habitat International, serve more than 22 million people, which is incredibly impressive. However, um, there's 1.6 billion more that are in need of safe and affordable shelter. So that's what we're focused on. Um, we work in, Habitat works in 70 countries and has 1,300 affiliates like Habitat for Humanity Metro Maryland in the U.S. And Habitat for Humanity Metro Maryland was founded in 1982 in Montgomery County, and we expanded five years ago to Prince George's County, so we've been working in Prince George's for five years. And we support affordable housing and home ownership through new home construction, the rehabilitation of vacant foreclosed properties, and then the repair and weatherization programs. And they're all really, really important. We serve hard working families who are ready for home ownership but struggle to qualify for, this, for traditional funding. We buy rehabilitation homes like this one and completely gut it. So we bought this foreclosed property, completely gutted it, and it has new electricity, new plumbing, new HVAC, new drywall, new, new roof. <laughs> new appliances, new kitchen, you name it, it's, it's new and it's just really amazing. When you tour the property, you'll see how fabulous it is. And this home will be sold to our family, with a, that'll pay a 30-year 0% mortgage with a 1% down payment. So this is our 95th home. <laughs> should impress you with, with our affiliate and what we've been doing. We have now spent more than $18 million on projects for the local community, $18 million. And we have provided more than 11 million, 11 and a half million in zero percentage mortgages. But the key thing, our homeowners have paid more than $1 million in property taxes. So affordable housing doesn't just benefit our families, that receive the home and that are living in the home. It benefits the neighborhoods and the communities. And um, what we do is just important to everybody. And that's the good thing is to recognize that the communities benefit as much as our individual families. All right, so now I'm gonna turn it over to John. Okay. So uh, I'm John Cloxis. I'm the president and CEO of Habitat for Humanity Metro Maryland. And it's my job to thank people for all the work they did to make this happen today. It's a community effort. Look at the great turnout we have today. You were all involved in this. You all contributed in some way to the success here. So I'm gonna, first of all, under your program, you have on, on one side, you have all of the supporters. And I'm gonna recognize some folks right now. Sandy Spring Bank Foundation celebrated their 150th year this year, and they honored three nonprofits, and we were one of them. Uh, they provided a substantial uh, donation to Habitat, and they also volunteer in, in many ways. Uh, and our corporate sponsors, uh, Freddie Mac is a corporate sponsor. I don't know if anyone's here today from Freddie Mac. I am. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, Dark Cars. I know we have folks from Dark Cars who have been great supporters of awesome. Habitat. Uh, Bennett Realty is here today. Uh, and 
then the middle, uh, Bank of America, uh, NECA, uh, Prince George's County Police Department came out. Anybody here from the police department? The police department came out and volunteered one day. And then on, you see our list of faith sponsors. I believe Refreshing Springs uh, Church of God in Christ is here today. Thank you for your a special thank you to uh, below there, Tiffany Dotson. I saw Tiffany in the back there. Hi. She found us out <laughs> for George's County Council members, and I think, I believe, uh, Sharika Williams is here, the CBG, uh, CDBG program manager, because uh, we were able to receive CDBG funding to acquire this house, so we really appreciate the support of that. The Nimmo Fingers uh, quilters uh, did these quilts. They do quilts for every house, so we appreciate that. Uh, we also have many other folks to thank. Think of you know one thing is we have five thousand volunteers that volunteer with us every year. It's a huge effort. Mm -hmm. And Monet is here today, our volunteer uh, coordinator. Thank you. Monet. Mm -hmm. um, the crew leaders. If you raise your hand, if you're a crew leader, I saw Nancy, Kathy, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mike, these are these are skilled people. So when, when somebody like me comes out, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> in that effort. Uh, we have professional staff. We have Preston. Where are you, Preston? Preston. Yeah. 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 You look at this house and you can see that we did it, but look at all the finishes on this house. This yeah. is because Preston is a professional. And he takes a lot of pride in what he does. So he does extra stuff and it's, it's beautiful. Uh, Katie, our pro project manager, is here today. Uh, the Family Services Committee help the family through their process of acquiring a home. It's a lot of work if you've acquired a home. You know how much work there is to do in all the paperwork. So there's a lot of work to do with that. Uh, Sarah, who's right here, and Donna, uh, Loretta, uh, and our board of directors. So if Mary here today, are there any other board members here? Eric. Eric. Hiding. <laughs> So we appreciate the support that we get from our board of directors. I also want to mention that uh, we have two restores, and the restores, uh, if you've been to a restore, you know that we sell stuff that's don donated to us. We resell to the public. All the proceeds from the restore come to our mission, which is this. So we were ha happy to have Terry and Brandon out here today who work for the restore, and you guys make a big difference. And I want you to see the results. <laughs> Restore Operations is here today as well. So, and we have a lot of staff here today that make this behind the scenes make this happen. Uh, Deputy Director Rachel over there. <laughs> so, um, gee, did I miss anybody? <laughs> Thank you all. Pardon me. Oh, yes, the subcontract. <laughs> so, as Mary said, we buy these homes, they're really in distressed condition. We spend around $100,000 on a house. That means what you're buying, what you're gonna be buying is essentially a new house because everything is new in the house. And we subcontract a lot of work to trades, professional trades. So, um, Mill Adams Company, uh, Billy Smith, G&G Drywall and Painting, Mark is here today. Mark, thank you for your work. Uh, Haynes Plumbing, Chris Hayes, uh, HNC Heating and Cooling, Brian Harvey, A1 Laminate, Gary and Michelle, and Central uh, Exteriors, like for the roof, the gutters, and the downspouts. That was all done by Central Exteriors. So you can see it takes a it takes a community, right? Mm -hmm. It takes everybody working together. Uh, this is great work. This is our 95th home, and uh, we couldn't do it without you. So thank you to everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause. Welcome again, uh, thanks to the volunteers. We can't do it without all of you, but 
Um, I get the honor and the pleasure to work with the Family Services Committee. Um, this is a committee that's run by Donna, who unfortunately is not here today. She's under the weather, and Sarah. And we get to work with the families. You know, every day we want to um, make sure they're successful in home ownership. So uh, our home purchase program, we work with our buyers to help prepare them for their long-term success in their home. A lot of our buyers have never owned a home before. And it's more than just, you know, walking in the front door on day one. There's a lot of financial literacy that we do with our homeowners. There's a lot of budgeting classes. There's a lot of repair and maintenance classes. It's a lot of work to buy a Habitat home. It's not easy. Um, as most of you know, because you're volunteers on the job site, our homeowners do 200 to 500 hours of sweat equity. They're here on their days off of their normal job working alongside most of you, helping you know make sure their, their home is uh, completed really beautifully. And I know, uh, Kimberly especially, you are very in tune to details on that and made sure <laughs> everything was great. Um, so it's hard, and I know these two can attest to that. Um, it takes so much effort. It takes so much paperwork. You can't believe the amount of paperwork it takes. And so many hours on the job site. So. This is a lot of work to get to this point, and uh, you guys are here. Their beautiful daughter, <laughs> Naya. Um, you might know, that, I don't know if you know, but they've been, for the last five years, they've been living in a place and they've been sharing it with another renter. And uh, they were really looking for a way that they can own a home. And sometimes, as you know, it's really hard to get conventional um, lending. So they went that extra yard, they took that extra effort, they completed all the paperwork, and today all their efforts have come to fruition and they're gonna be walking in their front door into their own home. So I'd like to um, have everyone join me in congratulating these, these girls. Nimble fingers um, to represent warmth in your new home. And then we'll do a, a photo as well, so I'm going to have you present them. <laughs> and then face, face cage. <laughs> hey guys, thank you. Nice. <laughs> Samantha Price with the Sandy Spring Bank Foundation. 
Um, so obviously this is a symbolic key. It's not going to work in your front door. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring the real ones Make on Monday when you go to school. Thank you. should get more of those. Thank you very much uh, okay, for the honor. Uh, like the blessing to be here. Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, like this is yeah. uh, a beautiful uh, gift given to uh, Jose, his family. I, um, I want to share a, a text. <laughs> it's in James chapter 1, verse 17 says that every good gift. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father, mm -hmm. our God. And uh, I want to choose that verse because uh, all of the people who make this possible are gifted. Everyone who is doing this to bless families, that 95 families are already blessed. Uh, I, I, I'm surprised i never seen uh, this program, but uh, it's truly a blessing to, to be part of this. I want to say thank you and may God bless you all for what you're doing. So uh, I want to pray for the blessing of the house, but I also want to pray for everybody involved, everyone who's making this possible to bless all the families. Amen? So let's pray. Father, we come to you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ to, uh, uh, to thank you for everybody who's making this possible, to thank you for those who are uh, uh, blessing all the families for the companies and, and, and all of the people who are doing this to bless all the families father thank you for their time thank you for their gift of of, of uh, generosity and, and 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 love to bless all the families I want to ask for a special blessing to everybody who is making this possible and also we want to <coughs> ask you for the blessing of this beautiful home and for the Better and good family, Lord. I want to ask you for your protection and may your angels cover this house and his family in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody Amen. says, Amen. 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 Thank you. All right, so the last step is the cutting of the ribbon, and then hopefully you all invite us inside. <laughs> okay, so please tour the house afterwards. Have some cake. Enjoy. Please. <laughs>